Alrighty, day three in Paris. We woke up a little later than usual, as usual. <laughs> Have a little bit of a wine hangover. But today we're gonna go explore the Montremer area and just like walk around and then if we have time in the evening we're gonna do a little shopping again um there's like a lot of vintage stores that i wanted to check out that i planned for the first day but it was just like we didn't have enough time and shops here closed pretty early around 7 38 so anyways hope oh, maybe we'll get that done today my hair is kind of greasy but i don't want to wash it so i might just put it in a hat but Wearing a simple outfit, same skirt as yesterday, just a different kind of like silky top. Anyways, let's go!
coming back down now. There's like a route that you can take that sees like a lot of kind of like famous sightseeing things here. So we're gonna take that route down. We just saw the pink house and the vineyard. And I have a few other places bookmarked, but I actually don't remember what they are. So we'll just see it along the way. Let's go. brands that you know but a lot of like local french brands as well so it's like a good area to shop in um, like i felt like champ elise or the department store had a lot of brands as well but most of the brands i knew so not that interesting but here there's a lot of those things i might have splurged a little on oil containers <laughs> but anyways no regrets and i bought a bag from pauline because um, it's tax free and I've been eyeing it for a little while now and yeah pretty good shopping trip today we are just at a French restaurant um, we were I had somewhere else bookmarked but we're kind of early it's like not six yet or it just it's just six now I think so a lot of restaurants don't open until like 7 7 30 so we just found one that was open um, and we're gonna get some French food in the Airbnb. But yeah, I thought I'd do a little haul of the things I bought. I definitely spent more money than usual when I go traveling. But Paris is just so good for shopping. <laughs> 
So the first thing I bought, I knew I was gonna buy this. I was debating buying like a name brand, like a bigger kind of like luxury designer bag, but um, I decided this one probably more comfortable for me. Like I wouldn't have to be super careful when I used it because it's not super expensive. And I've been eyeing it for a while now. And um, it's this Pauline bag. They have like so many different colors. I was really debating between the lighter one and the brown one, but in the end, I think um, this one is more versatile. So I got this um, Pauline. It's like the number uno nano bag. Um, but yeah, it's like a really good size, even though it's like nano. And um, it's like a cream color. They also have like a white one, but I think the cream one just looks more natural. Quite a lot of space. I was debating the brown one, but I think like my Jack Moose bag is already a bit of a kind of a brown tone that this would be a good alternative. Although that bag doesn't really like fit anything with this one. It's like a good, like I can take traveling and use it day to day. Um, so yeah, I got this. Good thing is I can get a tax free, I mean, I can get a tax refund from this. I need to go to the train station and claim that. So yeah, got that bag. Another thing I picked up, really random purchase. So from that, on that street I went on today, there's so many cute little shops and there's a lot of like, kind of like curated shops where they curate different brands from um, all over the place. Um, it's called, what is it? It's called the French Trotters. Um, they gave me this tote bag. But I saw these cute oil jars. <laughs> I mean, like after I bought them, I was kind of like a little excessive for oil jars, but they were so cute. So first one, they're made in Germany. They're not handmade. So they're not too super, like they could be more expensive, but they're these oil jars um, or you can put any liquid in there, I think, but it's, it has like the oil spout and you, put that in and you can throw it out. So at first I was confused because I was like, it looks like it would slip out really easily, but because of the glass here is like rough, you can like apparently press in and it won't come out and then you can use it for oil and then when you need to refill it, you just need to kind of tug on it a bit hard and it'll come out. I just thought that was really, really cool. Um, but yeah, this was 35 euros and the slightly bigger one, I got um, it in pink as well is 38 euros so um yeah you know if i thought more about it i probably wouldn't have bought it but you know i needed an oil jar um anyways so here we are i thought like two looks really cute side by side so i probably put like i don't know personally i probably put like cooking oil in this one and then i put olive oil in this one because i i don't really use olive oil unless it's for salad dressing um, or like on top of like chicken or bread sometimes, but super cute on the counter, I think. Uh, a bit of a splurge. And the last thing, I just bought this today. So when I went to the Gallery Lafayette, there was two things I wanted when I went there. I went to the Frankie shop and there was this really nice black razor that I wanted to get. It was really expensive, but when I tried it on, it just fit so nicely, but they didn't have my size. And I actually went to like the flagship store. They also didn't have my size. So anyways, I'm gonna just think about that a bit longer. <laughs> Maybe I'll just order it online. But I tried on this blazer from Sandro. And I've been kind of looking for a blazer like this, like this um, pattern, like what's the pattern called? Like houndstool? I don't know, but um, it's like a really nice blazer. It, um, in this lighting right now, it looks kind of pinkish, but it's more like brown green, um, but it just fit really nicely. And it's like kind of a really classic piece. It's also thick enough where it could be like a, like almost a coat, like you, I wouldn't be able to wear this in the summer, it's a bit thick, but it could be like a spring jacket. So yeah, I think it's really easy to like dress up or down. One more thing, um, actually Nate got this for me yesterday from Keith. It was, it was a really nice store and they had like a lot of different things, but um, they had a nice collection of jewelry. And this one bracelet caught my eye. 
trying to untangle now. It's kind of, it's like half gold, half silver. And one is like a chain on one side and the other side it's crystals. So I thought that was like really unique and cute. And you could like wear it with gold or silver jewelry because there is both on there. It's from a brand called, what is it? Just, just to clean cat. Anyways, that's all the things I bought. I don't think I'm gonna buy any more. Well, I don't know, maybe tomorrow, we'll see. But we're gonna clean up tonight because all our stuff is everywhere. Who actually forgot, I got one more thing. There's this place called Art Do Basics and they basically just sell basic clothing, but I saw these, um, I went in and tried on a few things. I saw these jeans that are really nice. Like they look really basic, but um, they fit better than other jeans I tried on. Um, it's similar to like this, there was this really popular pair at Zara that had the ripped jeans and I tried them and they make your legs look really long but they were too long for me like I, I even with heels they're like touching the ground so these actually turned out to be like the perfect length and they're like really soft they have a lot of like cute stuff in there um, but yeah I just got this anyways back to packing <laughs> It's our last day in Paris. We don't have much planned today. Um, we have to check out soon. So we're gonna leave our bags at the train station. There's like a place where you can lock it up. And then I think we're just gonna grab lunch. Nate has to do a, the get the tax return or not tax, what is it? Duty free tax thing form from um, the Gallery Lafayette. So we'll probably go there and then and then I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, we got a pack. Apparently for this Airbnb, we have to kind of clean it, like do vacuum and just return everything to the way it was because they didn't charge a cleaning fee. So we're gonna clean up and then head out. We just had a bit of a fiasco in the bus because they don't accept cash and you can't tap your credit card. So you either had to like text this number to pay, buy, buy a ticket in the station, or, or what was the other one? You had to download an app. So we can't text because our phones doesn't allow us to text in, um, in France. And then I download the app, but you need to connect it with the like transit card, which we don't have. So in the end, we didn't pay for this bus, but, but uh, yeah, we got to go to the station to buy the card or like the pass. Because the last few days we, we got like the day pass, but we like the options were like one, two, three, or five days. And we were here for four days. So we got three days. So I guess we should have got one day, one day. I don't know. But it's only worth it if you take the bus five times a day. Like that's the minimum for it to be worth it. Anyways, headed to lunch at Pink Mama now, which is a super aesthetic restaurant. But at the same time, the food should be good because it's owned by the same company that um, did Circulo. How do you say it again? Popular. Circulo Popular in London, which is like a really good Italian restaurant. So excited. Oh, I see it coming up.
shopping again. I was looking for this Frankie Shop blazer. We have traveled across Paris to find it. Pink Mama was very good. It's, I think it's the same restaurant as Circlo, actually. It's the same menu, I would say. I don't know, but the food is really good. It's so funny because afterwards, everyone wants to go to the famous kind of like stairs and glass part, take pictures. So there's all these people crowding around it. I tried to take a picture. It, it was okay. I don't know. I need to look at it, but just very like a influencer in the wild moment. You see all these people crowding around, waiting for their turn. Anyways, we are back in the same area we were in a few days ago. First day? Second day? I can't remember. Second day. Second day. Um, because I called the Frankie shop and they do have the blazer small now. Hopefully, so I'm gonna go pick that up because it is significantly cheaper in euros and with the tax refund. So, might as well pick it up. similar to the one that we were looking at at the Frankie shop so and it was only 10 euros 10 euros yeah. a lot of the other things too were only like five euros or something like that so very affordable unlike some of the vintage shops that we went into <laughs> <laughs> on top of the train at St. Pancreas and now we're gonna get home at 12 and I need, really need to take all my contacts. <laughs> okay, just coming on to end the vlog. We are back home now. The train was delayed an hour and then it was so hard to find a cab because the train before us was delayed as well so there was just a backup of all these people and like there was the line for the taxi was crazy but we were able to get a ride share and we ordered mcdonald's and just ate that so i'm gonna go to bed now anyways hope you enjoyed the vlog i know travel vlogs aren't everyone's cup of tea um but hopefully i'll go back to my normal day vlogs next week and i think i'm gonna have another travel vlog coming up because i'm going to portugal the week after that so anyways um hope you guys are having a good week and good night Say